What's up everyone, Darblade here bringing you a new series to accompany the God of War Ascension multiplayer beta entitled Weapons of the Gods, where we take a look at the weaponry and magic in the God of War Ascension multiplayer beta. I will continue this series into the actual finished product, but for the meantime we're just going to be taking a look at the beta. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at one of the default weapons in the game called the Gladiator Sword. Now remember that this is a beta and by the time the actual finished product is released lots of things may have changed. Anyway, the Gladiator Sword is the default sword in the game. It's one of the two default weapons, the other being the Gladiator Hammer. Now as a default weapon it doesn't come with anything too spectacular. It does have a physical power damage increase on the weapon. This increases the physical attacks when using this weapon. You can increase the physical power bonus on this weapon each time you level up the weapon. I think it's 5 points per level. Anyway, now to the untrained eye, not every sword, not every hammer is the same. They all come with unique abilities, especially when it comes to their special moves, the L1 and triangle, L1 and square moves. Now for the special quick attack, the L1 and square move, the gladiator sword unleashes a small whirlwind, dashing forward a little bit. This damages anyone caught in the whirlwind and can affect anyone in a 360 arc around the player. This move is great to use on players who don't block often and instead like to rely on dodging as you are able to quickly catch up with them. The only tip with this ability would be to use it on someone who you've already started a combo on. So when you're starting to hit someone, follow it up with the light special attack to get the most out of it. Now for the heavy special attack, the L1 and triangle, the player's character will do a double front forward flip, ending with the character slamming his sword into the ground. This causes a small AoE effect, damaging anyone who's nearby. Tips for using the Gladiator's heavy special are that it can be used to travel a small distance in relative safety because there are not a lot of abilities that can actually break you out of this animation. You have to be a bit wary when using the Gladiator's sword heavy special attack because after you've performed the move the animation leaves you vulnerable for a slight second after it's ended. So if you use it in an area full of players, well opponents mainly, then there is a high chance you're going to be taking damage needlessly. This is of course unless you actually manage to hit all opponents with the AoE effect of the heavy special attack. The other great thing about the Gladiator's Sword heavy special is that it is wonderful against opponents who like to block or who like to use parry a lot. I personally found that the Gladiator's Sword was best when you were aligned with Ares as Ares does specialise in physical attacks and the sword is all about physical attacks. The only actual bonus the sword comes with is physical power. So you might as well align yourself with the god that specialises with physical prowess. Anyway, I hope this video gave you some idea or tips about the Gladiator Sword in the God of War Ascension multiplayer beta. Remember that this is a beta and a lot of things may change. But until next time, I've been Darkblade bringing you Weapons of the Gods in God of War Ascension's multiplayer beta. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.